All right, so we got ourselves a little recovery. We got the call, we had to go. So I grabbed Trig. I grabbed, I grabbed Maddie. Maddie's my second daughter. She's she's one of many daughters that I have. Say hello, Maddie. Hi. <laughs> and and I got got old trusty Gabe back here. And uh, so we're we're meeting this guy at Maverick. Um, he's stuck in the snow, and uh, he said he's sliding towards a tree, so he's going to need some assistance. And I would just like to point out how my guys like to leave my truck when they do a recovery. That's the PTO button down there. You can't tell what it is because it's covered in mud. So if you ever see me on a recovery and I'm borderline fixing to lose my sh it's stuff like this that just pushes me over the edge. I'm not gonna say names, but it rhymes with butts laugh. We're gonna go pick this guy up and then we're gonna go do ourselves a little recovery. Did you wanna say anything, Trick? The weather? The weather? <laughs> <laughs> it's say the weather outside is what? The weather outside is delightful. Well, I mean you you folks can see what the weather is outside. So just uh, we got another storm last night. We had I don't know, eight to ten inches on the ground. They put another four inches on the ground, so hopefully it's gonna be a good time. Um, maybe something that'll really challenge Hellboy. I mean, just, we haven't had anything that's really challenged him yet, so besides uh, Butts left, or besides Boots left, getting in here the way he did, I'm not sure, like, if he was, he must have been doing, like, Mud Angels. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, I gotta get back in in my boss's truck, so let me throw some mud angels out real quick, and um, and I'm not going to take my gloves off when I get in here. I'm just going to wipe them, wipe the excess mud off all over the steering wheel. Drake's beard's getting thicker by the day. He looks like a regular old mountain kid. Have you watched the videos from? Well, we're going to pull in here and wait for this old boy and get ourselves a snack. When did you have time to go down to the beach and eat a dirty diaper? My breath doesn't even stink. Maddie, you want a Topo Chico or something? <laughs> go go inside and get yourself a snack. Uh, grab some barbecue seeds.
So we got a GMC Yukon XL and slid off the road and he's sitting on a rock and a tree on the passenger side. So we got it rigged up with some wheel slings. Is there a plastic cover on it? I don't think so. No. I think it'd be alright. This one doesn't have a plastic on it. Got my gardening gloves on today. Do a little gardening here. Just whittling your own uh, clevis? Yeah, just had to make my own clevis because the guys lost all my shackle pins, so I had to make my own real quick with my pocket knife. You always keep a pocket knife on you, you know? You just never know. And a set of uh, gardening gloves. Yeah, so we got, we're gonna run winch lines off of both sides. I don't want it to slide in forward or backwards anymore because if it does, there's a, there's some boulders that's on underneath it and there's a tree right there. So we don't want to do any damage to the vehicle. So we're gonna run a Holmes tree right here and then come off our boom right here just so we could get a little bit more rearward pull and a low winch line on the back, so stand by. just like I suspected really well we got it winched out you know lickety split didn't scratch a corner on that bad Larry we came we saw we recovered we're gonna go up here and turn around so 
if we have to do another winch out, then you'll see us again. If not, then you stay classy, GM, GMC Yukon XL that slid off in the ditch and almost hit a pine tree and a rock and that we recovered. I call it snow wheeling because we're in two wheel drive and Hellboy's never busting a sweat. For those of you that says Hellboy can't go anywhere. Oh, just looking for a lion track, you know. See if we can't top this day off with a Lion, the mountain lion in a tree, you know. Call Rick Murphy Sr. up. See if we can't catch ourselves a mountain lion. So back in the day when I used to do a lot of lion hunting, when my co-pilot would fall asleep, I would just dust him with a big old limb of snow hanging off like these trees right here. He'd have his window down looking for lion tracks. He'd fall asleep on the door like this. And I'd just lean over into a tree and just give him a good two sheet of snow. Yeah. I see one I will right there. You gotta take one for the team on this one. There's one right up here. All right. Just stand by. All right. No, 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 you can't do it like that. Oh, fuck, you're sleeping. You're sleeping. Oh, yeah. You're sleeping. Oh. Wake up! <laughs> Idiot! These two just fell asleep. And we're tired of them sleeping all day, so we're gonna wake them up right now. we recovered we didn't scratch a corner on that bad Larry we did teach these kids how to not fall asleep while you're looking for lion tracks we didn't find a lion track uh, which we only looked for about 30 minutes but maybe one of these days we'll take y'all on a lion hunt see if we can't find ourselves a big old Tom but anyway the recovery went about the way I figured it would I mean excellent Treg did an excellent job oh. Maddie did an excellent job Gabe did an excellent job everybody did an excellent job uh, stand by for the next one because tis the season you stay classy GMC Yukon stuck in a snowbank slid off the road hit a tree running board stuck on a rock
you can only have the handle wreck the rig if you take a wrecker flying honey. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. We're doing ourselves a little bit of line hunting this morning, boys. Uh, we got the call. We had to go. Rick Murphy Sr. said, I got a line on the hook over here, boys. Got a line track on the hook over here, boys. I'm going to need you to get out here. So we jumped in Hellboy. We let the big dog eat. We had to go. So here we are. Rick Murphy's not answering his phone. And uh, we're just wandering around out here following Rick Murphy's tire tracks all over BFE. So, so, so now we're hunting Rick Murphy. So stand by. Couldn't get Western. Get this cat caught. Hey, Dean Wire. Rick Murphy. Right. Should be pretty close. You want to look at the track? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Where are you going to shoot it with? I think I'm going to use a snare. <laughs> <laughs> Duct tape a yep. knife to your hand? Yep. I got a high-end high snare. <laughs> what do you say, Trig? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. You're still camera shy, huh? You look like a western son of a bitch today. See what I was talking about? See how clean it is? Yeah. It's not like at all. It's got the Their hind foot. You look at the, the hind foot, foot and the very back pad. You can see three humps in it. See, look at Yeah, right here. <laughs> see his hind foot steps in the same place yeah. as the front foot. So we met up with Rick Murphy Sr. He's got a lion track here. And it is colder than a well digger's asshole out here this morning. But we're letting it get daylight so we can turn the dogs out. And then we're going to go catch a lion. So stand by. Dogs are, are smoking it. I can't even hear them anymore. Yeah, go ahead. Are you going with the dogs already? Yeah, I'm with the dogs. All right, so I'm catching back up to him. They're across the canyon from me. They're still smoking it. Almost sounds like we got him jumped. Looks like they're still trailing. 
We've gone about a mile, but yeah, there's still cold trail. Stand by. Hey, Ricky, can you hear us on the radio? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, your dad is trying to get a hold of you. He's wondering if you're on the track still. pretty cool because you can see the dogs on the Garmin is opened on uh, Rick Senior's truck and, <laughs> and two of the dogs got out so we're tracking them down. <laughs> I'm just about topped out. Uh, they've been on the track the whole time. Uh, doesn't look like the lion's jumped or anything. So, uh, I don't know if they're gonna cross the road track. It kinda looks like they're probably parallel in the railroad tracks. I think so, it's hard to tell. The dogs have pounded it out so much up here. But yeah, pretty sure. Dogs are barking treed. We're almost there. Stand by. Got him treed, boys. Ready to see a mountain lion? Three or four miles, jumped him right here in these bluffs. Oh, Come on. Come on, Most of the dogs are all together about 400 yards from here. And uh, I guess we're going to go pick up some of the other dogs before we head up there. You can hear him barking. <laughs>
See all that? Might be a, oh, it's a fox. Yeah, he killed a fox. Which way? How's it look on that side? Probably the best bet right here. Yeah. You can start to hear the dogs barking. No sign of Ricky. Run him down again. Bait him up in some rocks. Tell me that ain't badass. How about that? <laughs> Where's that hunter at? Yeah, I guess we could walk over there and see if we can get him off of there and go get him in a tree. Man. We're missing about five dogs, ain't we? We're missing a tiny dog. So he jumped, ran a couple hundred yards. We put him up in some rocks and he is pissed. Pull the hammer back. God damn it. Here, here he comes. I'm a bitch. Oh. We're treed for the third time. Good boy, cowboy. This old Tom is making us work for it. Larry! Jim! Come here, Larry. Day in the life of Wrecker Rick. Just out here in my natural element, one with nature. Just headed for town. It's been a month of Sunday since I've seen town. You stay classy. Big Tom on Wrecker Rick's back.